Welcome to Lesson 2, Drawing with X and Y Coordinates. For this lesson, open up the Design CAD program by double-clicking on the Design CAD shortcut. Sometimes the program takes a little while to open, especially if it's a first time since the computer has been started. Once the program opens, a window pops up and you have some options. Again, you have your open existing file, create a new file, and drawing units. So we're going to select millimeters for your drawing units and press OK. And if this is indented, we can go ahead and press OK. Now, once this begins, you'll have your ruler here with a whole bunch of uh, millimeters showing on it. You have your toolbars, the top one and that left one we talked about, and then your drop down menus. If you have any more toolbars, again, it's a good idea to close them because as you can see, they take up a lot of space and it's nice to have a lot of space to draw on. So you can go ahead and get rid of them. So we're just going to get rid of the double line bar, the layer toolbox, and these are the ones you should have. So to begin, we're going to just talk about the X and Y coordinates. You don't have to draw anything for this lesson, just listen and learn. I'm going to just grab my arrow tool two-headed arrow, and I'm just going to draw a line here, uh, sorry, a double-headed arrow. Let's draw 40 on the X, and I'll talk more about drawing on the X and Y axis later, but we'll just draw that like so. And we'll also draw another one. We'll go right here. We don't have to be too exact for this today. Negative 40. There we go, and I'll just place that so it looks about right. Good. And we can fit the screen so we can see everything here. So this first line here that I drew, that's my x-axis. I'll just go ahead and I'll label that as x-axis. Now I should always, in drafting, be putting my text in with capital letters. So I'll just put caps lock on, not a-axis, axis x axis change my size a little bit here what does that look like oh that's not too bad put the x axis there press enter and we'll do the same for the y axis let's change that to y and we'll place this one right here now this middle point here that's called my origin and that's where i begin my drawings now this double arrow X and Y axis, that doesn't show up on your screen. So when you're starting a drawing, you'll just select some place on the screen. But if we're to start call a starting point, it would be at this origin right here. Now from this origin, if I want to draw a line to the right, I am drawing on the X axis. However, if I'm going from left to right, I'm drawing positive. So I'm going to put a positive sign here. Not an equal sign, a positive sign. Move that away. <clears throat> and let's place that right here. Actually, let's make this a little bigger. Let's make that a size of 2. And we're going to put a positive sign right there. Actually, let's put it right here. That'll be good. And we'll put a, another positive sign. Actually, we're still talking about the x-axis. Let's put a negative sign now on this side. So the negative is when I'm drawing from right to left. So movement from right to left is negative. Movement from left to right is positive. Now on the y-axis, it's the same deal, except when we move from the origin up, that's positive. And when we move from the origin down, that's negative. So I'm just going to copy this one over. Let's put that right there. And we'll copy this one over. While I'm at it, I'm going to make that one just a little bit bigger so we can see it better. And we'll copy that one over. Oops, where to go? Here we go. And we'll put that there, like so. So there you have it. Movement again along the horizontal axis. Axis is the x axis. If I want to go right, it's positive. If I want to go left, it's negative. Movement along the vertical axis, 
up and down is your vertical. If I want to go up, it's positive. If I want to go down, it's negative. And that's the end of lesson number two.